that's that's why I'm advocating a sense of urgency to really uh, work out differences, especially as it relates to uh, economic issues between the two countries, because there's a lot of uh, unfortunately misunderstanding between the intentions of both sides, and I think we just have to work through it. I, I don't know any other. It's just if you're negotiating a business deal. Uh, I think you have to start off with the principle of mutual respect and then really the hard part is getting to mutual understanding and if you can get through uh, being aligned to mutual understanding you can have mutual benefit. The trade imbalance is not caused by China. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a reality of being China being uh, competitive and making a quality product that's exported to the U.S. I tell my friends in the U.S. that's not caused by China. It's people who order product in China because it's the best quality at the best price and yet that, that is what wins in the world and China has been able to do that. And if you look at all the uh, data that's out on the market, the amount of FDI that still comes into China, the amount of investment that still comes into China, as well as the U.S., uh, indicates that people think this is a very safe and stable market. And then there's this big debate about decoupling. Mm -hmm. I don't think there will we'll be decoupling between ever uh, between China and the U.S. I don't see that.